Ryan's waiting for his eye test. Having a snack, aren't you? Mm. Use your spoon. Ryan, spoon. So today is Friday the 30th of December. Uh, we had a good Christmas. Um, catching up with family, lots of presents and things. Unfortunately, Ryan's been poorly since Christmas Day. So he went and spent the day with my mum and dad and just had a quiet day whereas me rob jessica and ethan all went to rob's sister's house for christmas day um and had christmas dinner there and things and he's still he's still not quite right he's still very tired he's still not moving around as much i think that there's this flu thing going around and i think he's probably got that so he was off his food for a couple of days, but he's um, making up for that now with all his eating. Uh, this morning, Ryan had his eye test at the hospital. So this was the follow up from the last eye test where they said he was long sighted and that um, they wanted to get him back in to see if they could gauge his level of long sightedness to see whether it was worth giving him glasses or not. Since that appointment, I've noticed a difference in his vision. Um, so this time, they, it was different to last time. So last time he went, they tried to do the eye test, um, which he couldn't do. And then they gave him drops, waited 20 minutes. He went to see another lady and she looked in his eyes and was like, yeah, he's long sighted. Um, so this time we didn't have the drops, he just went to try and do the eye test, which he was a lot more cooperative with this time than he was last time. Um, but because he can't talk or sign, um, she can't gauge what he can see. So we spoke to her and on the 11th of January, He's going to go back in. So as soon as he gets in, they'll give him the drops. They'll wait the 20 minutes. Then he'll see the other lady who can look and get a better idea of how, what his vision's like as to try a prescription for glasses. Um, when we were talking with her, she did suggest, say that if kids weren't, very cooperative as a sort of last resort they can put them under anaesthetic to um, do the assessment and then they'll be able to know what the prescription is for his eyes but obviously that's a last resort so I did mention that he was having surgery in Newcastle anyway for his tonsils and things and that if she thought it was worthwhile it might be worth speaking to them to see if they can do that at the same time um, but the impression I got from her was that she wanted to just exhaust all of the options beforehand anyway. Um, and so I mentioned to her as well about the Becker's muscular dystrophy which, and asked if that would have any effect on his eyesight or not. And she didn't know, but she was going to go and have a look and see. So we, so I think it's a week and a half and then we're back the hospital for the next bit and we will see how that goes.